The arena and the Roman theatre are along with Juliet's house, the works to which Verona is famous throughout the world. They are among the most important Roman historical buildings in northern Italy, and they differ among themselves not so much for their sources or architectural style, but rather for the function to which each one was intended. The arena, seat of the most popular leisure entertainment, was used to bloody battles between gladiators and the theatre turned to higher expressions of culture. The arena is the fourth largest amphitheatre after the Colosseum in Rome, the one in Capua and the one in Milan. It can hold around 30,000 people, more than the entire population of the city of Verona from the first century, the period of the supposed construction of the monument. The absence of written sources about its inauguration made it difficult to date its origins. However, you can compare it to the Pool Amphitheatre, which is the most similar for both its stylistic and technical aspects, so as to assume that they are both designed by the same architect and workers. The arena is located next to the city walls, in what would become since the 12th century Piazza Bra. It is built in white and pink limestone from nearby quarries of Valpolicella and owes its name to the Latin word indicating the sand on the bottom of the central area. Thanks to systematic restoration works since the 17th century to this day, it constitutes the ancient amphitheatre with the best degree of conservation. It has an elliptic shape and consists of a series of concentric galleries holding the terraces with 44 series of seats using two rows of 72 stone radial arcs. The monumental outdoor facade was severely damaged during the devastating earthquake of 1117. To this day, the only part left of it is the so-called wing of the arena, consisting of four isolated arcs bounded by semicolons in Tuscan style. Originally, the arena was used for fighting shows between gladiators and fights between men and wild animals, and the terraces were separated from the audience by using protective nets to safeguard spectators. During the Venetian period, the festivities in honor of the Lord of the City took place there, but since 1913, the year in which for the first time the Aida was represented, the arena became the seat of the most important open-air opera house in the world. Thanks to its particular elliptical shape, the building has excellent acoustics that allows the singer's voices and music to propagate perfectly inside without amplification systems. The Roman theatre was built at the beginning of the first century before Christ in the northern part of the city of Verona. It was used by the Romans to attend plays, tragedies and comedies inspired by Greek culture. Its structure extended from the banks of the river Adige, raising with various terraces to the top of Colle San Pietro, thus taking advantage of the natural slope of the land, with a jump of approximately 60 meters. Today you can see only the ruins of the work, as the theatre remained for centuries buried from buildings that were built above it. In the early 1800s, the rich Veronese merchant Andrea Monga, a passionate archaeologist, bought the whole hilly area and made extensive demolition and excavation work. The remains of the theatre and on top of the hill the remains of the temple which crowned its magnificent scenic building came to light. This day, there are still remains of the cavea, the orchestra, two orders of galleries and three terraces connecting it to the top of the hill. On the east wing of the cavea, moreover, you can see the small church of San Siro and Libera, 
dating from the 10th century, whose front door is placed at the end of the two branch stairs built in the early 18th century. The cavea, which is the part housing the audience in Roman times, was able to contain about 3,000 people, but now has a maximum capacity of 1,860. It consists of white steps vertically divided by lines of red bricks, has a maximum width of 105 meters and rests on the front and laterally on radial walls. It was originally overlapped by arcs of which today only few bows remain. The scene building was as tall as the cavea, but is almost entirely lost today, except for its side parts. Few ruins instead remain of what was supposed to be the great scene in front of the river, built in tough stone and richly decorated. Today, prestigious dance performances and the highly anticipated festival of Shakespearean works take place at the Roman theatre.